Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Club Artist Reheven. My name is Lucille, and over here I speak about all things Etsy, digital product, designing, the selling, the processes, the tools that goes into it. And we have a Facebook community of almost 3,000 members. It's free. So if you are looking out for a place to hang and just connect with people who are like-minded and want to try and figure this whole AI business out, Please come and join us, subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with someone that you may think will benefit from it. So thank you for those who are returning, always looking out for my content. And if you are brand new, I hope you find this video valuable in your business. And if there's any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys and I respond to all of my messages. So. Today, we are speaking about AI Prompt Heavens update that we have had this weekend past. So I took the um, viewers or people who signed up for the webinar, I took them through the new update, which is basically called the Members Tool Stack. I'll show you in a minute. And I revealed six new products or six new tools to help you improve your workflow, improve your output, your the quality of your designs, your mockups. And there's just a whole list of things that I need to get through um, in, over the next couple of days. Sorry. So there is the two hour video that we spent on Saturday going through all the tools. And that is amazing, especially if you want to hear about all the tools in one video. Unfortunately, I'm not going to put it on YouTube for technical reasons. Um, I've changed my video recording software recently and I'm just, there's just one more thing. I love it, but there's just one more thing that I am still struggling with, which is not allowing me to create like such a long video on YouTube, right? Unless, yeah. So um, if you want to check out the whole, all six products or all six tools, please go to the Facebook community. The link will be in the description and I will take you through all six but i'm going to for youtube going to make them in bits and pieces so the six different tools i will shoot in six different videos i hope that's okay with you okay let me show you the vault which is really what all of this is all about i have a monthly membership of 15 dollars a month and i speak about prompts right i educate on prompts i provide the prompts so this is something that we that i dropped earlier today i dropped new prompts weekly so you are never out of fresh ideas or trendy ideas or bestseller prompts that's on etsy etc so this is something that i dropped today and if you scroll down you will just see the image on the right with the prompt on the left the tool that i used this bundle i created with google uh, imogen 3 the style that it was created in just the aspect ratio that i would use if i take it to etsy and then the technical details like the, the line work and the lightning and the composition, the finishing, the background. I just break it down as an educational experience for the member to understand what, how I typically prompt, right? So this was the latest drop. And if you are a member, you would be very familiar with this screen, okay? If you scroll up, you'll get the welcome. You will then, after that, you'll get the members tool stack and the volume two is the most recent of updates, right? So we had a volume one about two months ago. So if you also go to my YouTube channel and you look at the big reveal video, search for the big reveal video, that was the first six tools, right? So we've just released the second batch. And if you click on it, it will basically take you to the screen. Okay. So these are the six that I took all the members through on Saturday. But as I've mentioned, we will just go through one at a time. I think let's start with the mock-up builder studio. I think it's an amazing tool. So once you're in the vault, you click on access and mock-ups is where it's at. If you are in my digital product bootcamp course, I take you through all things Etsy from starting your store, from coming up with the name, the branding, the colors, the psychology about all things brand. I go take you through 10 digital products, how I create them with different tools. I work on about six, seven different tools on, on a month with, within a month. So I take you through 10 different products like junk journals and coloring pages and bookmarks and mug wraps and tumbler wraps and t-shirt designs, etc. And in the within the that course, 
I speak about mock-ups, um, the importance of the mock-up. And for an Etsy digital product seller, that's really where it's at. If your mock-up is bad, if your mock-up is not appealing or somebody doesn't find it worth worthy to click on, you have already, you're out of the, the race. Yeah, you're out of the competition, so to speak, right? So the mock-up is essential that it's of high quality. And the reason I built the mock-up builder was just to help my members with some of the challenges that I've had in the past. So this tool not only creates unique mock-ups, which is what you want on Etsy, it also um, saves you money. Because when I started, I used platforms that I had to pay for, such as Creative Fabrica. So you, could, you can use their mock-ups to mock up your digital products. Or Etsy itself, I used to buy mock-ups from Etsy. Like I would quantify what's going to save me time. Should I create my own mock-ups or should I just buy it and get on with it? So those are all some of the calculations and <laughs> reasonings that you have to do with within yourself, right? And within your business. Because if you're cost sensitive like I am, those are the type of conversations that you need to have with yourself. So I wanted to save our members um, money and time in trying to create their own mock-up. So I'll show you, I'll take you through this tool and I'll show you how easy it is to diversify your mock-ups by just clicking certain um, elements and then generating a list of prompts and taking it to your software of choice, right? So as I've mentioned, I use quite a couple of software softwares out there and I try and change them per video because I understand, although I use Artistry a lot, not everybody watching my YouTube video even maybe know who and what Artistly is. So I use Ideogram, I can use ChatGPT, as long as the prompt that my tool is going to generate for you can be copy and pasted, you are good to go. Okay, so it's called Mockup Builder Studio. This is what the interface looks like. So you will start with, let's say you want to create a, a mug, like a 15 hours mug, right? Mug, that's your, that's your product that you are selling. Well, you're not selling a physical product, you are selling a digital product for a mug so your specifications and your size and your dimensions would need to be equivalent to what a 15 hours mug is going to normally you know the aspect ratio in terms of what it needs to be the the rectangle size right so we're going to go with a 15 hours mug and then we're going to say it's going to need to be a christmas vibe right because mock-ups need to change with the season so if you are selling perhaps a halloween type of design i would say your background needs to have a halloween influence like vibe sort of right so i would say you choose your theme then although you've already specified here you need to just choose it again here the building of the prompt is based on the selections that you are making so it depends on what you will be selecting over here that is what the output of the prompt is going to be. So if I choose a mug, which is what my product idea is, your color, you need to let the AI know that you want the mug to be white, black, or whatever else, or you can add, just add your, your, your custom color. So I'll just go with white. Then you can either choose a model or not. So sometimes you need, sometimes you want a mock-up with a human holding the mug, sometimes you don't. So that's entirely up to you, right? We can go with a woman, we can have a African American or Caucasian or whatever, and we can say maybe it's a lifestyle scene that we want or one of the others, flat lay, a studio mock-up, a desk scene, etc. And then I want it to be like in natural daylight, for example. Really just depends on what you want for your mock-up. And then just choose photorealistic and let's go with three prompts. While we're here, I'm just going to open Ideogram as well as... No, I don't need anything else here. That's fine. Let's go back and then click on Generate. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use Ideogram and Artistly. As I've mentioned, you can use any other tool. You can use Abacus, which I love using as well. You can use ChatGPT. It's endless, right? So go to Fast AI Image Designer. If you don't know, Artistly is a once and done payment so you've got two plans you can either go $49 for the commercial plan which gives you access to not all of the tools or and then there is the premium plan which gives you access to everything and future updates which is $147 right I cannot tell you what is included and what's not off the bat because there's just so many and it, it is very difficult for me to be able to say that's included this is included and that's not included because I've got the premium plan 
everything's open for me. So just keep that in mind. As I've mentioned, once you pay once and you don't have to pay again. And the link I will also drop in the description. Please, if you could use my link because I get a affiliate commission from them, I do promote the, the product because it does so much for my business. Okay, so in Artistly, we're going to go to photo realism, which is where you want to be, right? Because we now we're creating realistic images. We're not creating clip art or junk journals or coloring pages. So we want photo, photos that looks real, right? So we go back to the tool. We've got our prompts. The, the whole thing about everything I do in my vault and in my community, and just like me as a person speaking on this topic, I need to save you time. If I save you time, I'm going to save you money and you're going to make more money. What do you mean? I mean that I don't want you to struggle with ChatGPT to give you mock-ups. Your ChatGPT has not, has not been trained in a way, most likely, right? Most likely. Your ChatGPT has not been trained to think like a 1% Etsy digital product top seller, for example. And if you go into a GPT conversation, which is generic, you're not going to get the cream of the crop. That's just, that's the crux of where the frustration is coming on, right? These tools that I've built, they have been built thinking and operating all things Etsy, all things digital product stores. Uh, when I mention Etsy, it's just, it's the most preferred, I think, to start out as a digital product seller. But please, I do um, encourage people to create their own websites, sell on social media, um, go to Gumroad, go to Shopify, I do, especially in the digital product bootcamp, I speak on that a lot. It's good to be start with Etsy, but I don't think you need to, it needs to be your all in all, right? So please do as soon as you can set up your own website and just copy the products that you've listed in Etsy over to your website. There's no rules on your website. You can do what you want. You can sell what you want. Unlike Etsy, sometimes people's stores get closed down and we don't even know. We don't, there's no proper feedback, right? So keep all of those things in mind. So my whole objective with everything that I'm doing, whether it is tools or custom GPTs or PLR support or just like free information, it's all to save you time. If I can save you time, I will save you money and you will make more money, right? So let's copy the prompt just by all those ticks, right? all those selections. I'm talking a lot, so it takes longer. But if you had to be set up, you would just do those selections and come to your software of choice. We'll use Artistly for this one and we will generate i've created four go to the second prompt okay copy paste four generate let me use that same prompt in ideogram some say ideogram some say ideogram i don't know my mom says pronunciations is a personal matter <laughs> you want to choose a realist realistic or realism in ideogram you don't want to choose design because it's not going to come out right and then just click generate so these are some of the mock-up images that we that I demonstrated over the weekend during the lives, just so that you guys can see some of the outputs. Okay, go back to your mock-up builder, go to the third ROM and copy, copy it already, go to your software of choice, paste, generate, and then we'll just take it to, we take it to Artistly and then we can have a look and see what the output is like. Now, remember we selected a white mug, a white female, Christmas vibe, realistic etc so just to see what the output looks like obviously we need to always 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 check the fingers because it, yes it does still happen so this looks nice well manicured hands that's your mug white female clearly um and it's got the christmas vibe nobody on etsy will have this mock-up that's the beauty of it i don't i don't know if you guys can remember they were, <laughs> i still actually use that i should stop asking the vas to you know that one brown, like white mug in a brown box with like paper cuts at the back? Everybody's using that mock-up. Everybody and their moms are using though that can. And we all know it's from Canva. You can go onto it now. You'll still see best sellers. In what I'm saying is nobody else has got this one. Look how beautifully manicured those nails are. I think we've got an extra finger here. There might be an extra finger. But these are still things here that you need to look at. AI is not perfect. If you if you operating under the assumption that AI is perfect, it's not. You, we still have to do these checks and balances, right? So um, I think it came out quite nicely, and you didn't have to ask ChatGPT. And I guarantee you, if you had to ask ChatGPT without knowing off the bat what to ask for as a new person, you will build a lot of frustration within your operation because there's just certain things that you don't really know. So I speak to new aspiring sort of designers um, who want to try and figure this out as a side geek, as a full-time geek. 
Um, and that's pretty much what I do, right? So again, if you are looking for a home and you need help and guidance and support, please come and check us out and let's go to Ideogram and let's see what we came up with here. That's a lovely one. Look how beautiful this is. We asked for sunlight, natural sunlight. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Um, this one is not something I would use because I can't, where do I put my design on, right? So just another thing I want to show you before we end the video, which is the, so you can, once you're done, you can click on start new, right? Um, I don't know if my internet is slow, guys. Okay. So let's say t-shirt. Let's say I want now a t-shirt. I want a Halloween background vibe. I want a t-shirt. You can either say folded t-shirt or you can say t-shirt. But because I want to show you the family option, I'm going to go with not the folded one, right? So product, I want to go black t-shirt. I want to go uh, family. Family, I've coded as in different types of family, mom and son, dad and daughter. So it will give you a variation. There's no way for me to say family of two, family of three. It's not, that's not how it works. So you just choose family, it will spit out the variations. I want to maybe say an Eastern Asian family scene, I would say, um, let's do lifestyle again, then um, commercial and then photorealism and then just, let's just go with three again. So you copy your prompt, take it to your software, paste, let's go and then over here. And I think the family edition, because it was something I added quite later on in the development of the, the tool, is a nice addition because people, especially over holiday seasons, they like to promote both print on demand as well as digital products with the family unit, right? So um, I hope this is something that you think that you feel can add value. That's, that's the family. I just want to grab the second prompt. And it's really just designed with you in mind to tell you that I understand the pains. I understand the game. I understand how all of this works. So I build to save you time, save you money, make you money and just help you to get to your objectives as soon as possible just do that paste so that is the family unit just an example and that's a lovely one because i can see the front section very clearly right and i can add my design on all of those t-shirts but so you'll again you'll have to look up this is also a lovely one because it's clear but of but creasier but these are some of the checks that you have to do you have to for family you'll have to look out so it's got the halloween vibe the black t-shirt the family units and it's very it like varies this is mom dad and child this is mom and daughter mostly so that's really the thinking behind it let's see um this is so beautiful this is so beautiful let's see um, gorgeous asian family I love it. I hope you guys um, can see the value in it. If you've got suggestions for more tools coming up in the future, let me know. Happy to um, look and see what the community wants. You know, there's, it's no point in me creating videos and nobody's really asking for it. It's just so much more valuable and meaningful to me if you guys reach out and let me know what it is that you are looking for. So I will do the next video, the second tool tomorrow. Uh, look out for it and um, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.